how do we teach next generations of world leaders that the pleasures of today can be the planet's bane tomorrow? How do we grow a new generation of environmentally conscious global citizens to make wise, sustainable developmental choices and decisions for the future, to communicate their con common concerns and build collaborations as global citizens conscious about caring for the planet. <laughs>
dissect and see what part this framework play in our world, our life, in our everyday. Just one word, human is natural. Local to global, blend as universal. I leave them with their own journal. Leaves of my life, wonders of my world. Re to write, paint, remember this journey. From my story science to their science story. National Geographic framework I can now add my own. I call it You Know I Ask. That later on I will unmask. It's of landscape, life, culture, and people. It encourages people to take ownership of it, see themselves, their home, or familiar places in it, and accept it as a definer of identity. And the pictures help to illustrate, highlight, and make the fiction real. Above all, landscape landscapes of fiction from Trinidad and Tobago has an extremely powerful sense of place and reinforces what in Rampasad's words is the pull of place on authors. It communicates the character of the country. No one book can do everything. No one book can set out to achieve everything that a literature and a visual text can do for its people and its nation. But whatever you say one book cannot do, this one 